Now, the Dakar Rally is considered one of the most gruelling races in the world. It's been running for more than three decades. But this year, a group of injured soldiers have become the first disabled team to enter. The team includes a paratrooper who lost both legs and an arm in Afghanistan, but is determined not to let his injuries stand in the way of adventure, as James Blake reports. 15 days, 6,000 miles across a continent. This is a British team in final training for one of the world's most arduous races, the Dakar Rally. According to its own publicity, this is the first disability team ever to compete in the challenge. Race to recovery is made up of soldiers who have been injured on duty. Corporal Tom Neathway lost both legs and an arm when a booby trap bomb exploded in Afghanistan in 2008. Speaking from Peru, he says his military experience is an asset. I think we've got a huge advantage there, um, the, 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 our map reading skills and sleep deprivation, all that sort of stuff. Um, it, it leads us in a, quite a good, uh, well, gives us a great advantage. The team has been 18 months preparing for Dakar, racing on different terrains all over the UK and across Morocco. Tom Neathway is the race navigator. Life with prosthetics means he's needed specialist training on how he'll deal with emergencies if and when things go wrong. Me being a triple amputee, I've, I'm on these quite uh, fancy uh, prosthetic legs. Um, the last training we did out in Morocco, uh, I did actually break the set of legs I had, uh, which made things a massive, uh, massively difficult. Um, just out here the past few days, I mean, the temperatures are, uh -huh. are, are well, it's really hot. And um, I'm having issues with the, the prospects themselves staying on. But um, we're a team where we're just used to getting on with things. So we just adapt and overcome. And that's what we've done with my legs. I've literally just stuffed it full of padding and just cracked on with it. So. The race started today from Lima in Peru. It hugs the Pacific coastline and then ventures into the Andes. Almost 600 bikes, quads, cars and trucks will have to endure the sand dunes of Peru before a desert, then into Argentina and finally crossing the line in Santiago, Chile. The Paris to Dakar rally, the same race that back in 1982 the Prime Minister's son Mark Thatcher managed to get lost in. Five years ago it moved from Africa over security concerns but kept the name. The team hopes to raise millions of pounds for various forces, charities including this recovery centre in Wiltshire. This is certainly not for the faint-hearted. Last year 83 cars even failed to finish the Dakar rally. So just four months after the Paralympics another British team is setting out to prove just what disabled people can achieve. James Blake.